Kim really? Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags. It's I'm Corbin. I don't know what you had to say. And you, <laughs> you fall down. <laughs> I'm in Twitter. I'm all juicy. Cold. Did it with my left hand because I am so by handle. Juicy. Don't you do most things with your left hand? Shh, not here. Uh, and today, this is a first for us. What is? We've finally watched a Malali. How do you say it? Malali. Malalium. I, I keep mispronouncing it. Malalium. Malalium. Yeah. Oh, were we, were we supposed to watch a Malalium? I think so. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. You can wing it. I'll just pretend I watched it. Yeah. Okay. They'll, they'll never know. The they difference. won't know. Yeah. <laughs> we watched at the recommendation of a bunch of people. Um, I don't know if bunch. I'm. I don't know if I'm supposed to. How am I supposed to? Kumbology? I'm probably mispronouncing that, right? I like. It's Corbinized. Yeah. The study of Kumba? Kumbology? <laughs> how would you pronounce that? Kumbalangi Nights. Kumbalangi. Or, or Kumbalangi. I don't know how they would pronounce it in Malalium, but okay. I would say it's Kumbalangi Nights. Kumbal uh, or Kumbalangi. Kumbalangi. Kumbalangi Nights. Kumbalangi Nights. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Kumbalangi. The study of Kumba. Uh, it is a film revolves around four brothers who share a love-hate relationship with each other. Their relationship progresses to another level when Sanji... Bonnie and Frankie decide to help Bobby stand by his love. It's directed by Madhu Naranyan. His, I believe it was his first film. Uh, Shut up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, and then obviously there was a bunch of people in it as, as well that who uh, most we did not know about. Correct. Um, but our first Malayalam film. Initial thoughts. Um, this film, at every level, like, um, I have added it to my all-time favorite film list. It's so good. It's freaking <laughs> unbelievably, spectacularly great at every freaking level. And all the beautiful Malalian babies are like, we Guys, told you yeah. a thousand times. This is, this is, this is movie making at its best right here. It's, it's just so good. hundred percent natural, a hundred percent amazing. Yep. All the, all the acting was incredible. incredible. Also the storytelling was beautiful, beautiful. and unique. And yep. also a incredibly, um, okay, wait, before you say anything, before you say anything, yeah, before you say anything, if you haven't seen the film, please, please, oh, yeah. please just, just stop it. Just stop. Cause we're going to, we have to talk about some spoilers to talk about all the things. Go watch it. Come back. Yeah. Just know that you need to go watch it's, it. Cause it's a beautiful, yeah, great, wonderful movie. Yeah. Okay. It's, so it's, even more. Yeah, that's, that's the non-spoiler review is go watch it. Yep. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, we can talk. For yeah. a long time um, about everything. So thank you movie. for being patient and waiting for us to finally watch a Millennium film. Yes. We're sorry. It took us, what, a year? <laughs> yes. Uh, but we finally did it, didn't we, Corbin Miles? That's what's really fun. <laughs> but yes, it's... Um... <clears throat> where do you start? Seriously, where I do you I want to start with my favorite part, which is... Shami. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> we're gonna start with your favorite part, which is the last 10 minutes of the film. No, he's my favorite throughout the entire okay. thing. Okay, okay. Do we you know he... what he's from? No. We've seen him. We have. He was in um, um, Super Deluxe. Shut the front door. Do you know who he was? Hold on. Was he... Hold on. No. Wait, he wasn't... Was he... He... he was the husband that was about to sell her out to be raped at the end. The one I hated? Yeah. That's, that's the same dude? That's him. <laughs> wow. He is the, and from what I've heard from Super Babies, he's like a, the definition of a shapeshifter. And Clearly. He, and he is that good. Clearly. Yeah. Um, oh, holy cow. One, the right, I don't know if this was an original screenplay or if it was an adapted one. I don't, it doesn't matter. But uh, the way they wrote that character, <laughs> the, the entire time you were like, this dude's a creep. <laughs> yeah. from, I, from the beginning with his Borat mustache that he had on. And his, his detail to making sure. But he was so creepy. Because like you thought he'd be normal. And then he's just like, hey, he just did. How <laughs> about Thomas? How smile. about, let's just jump all over. How um, about when he just straight up goes and stands in the corner? Oh, for it's my minutes. favorite. <laughs> I watched it with my, I watched it with my wife, uh, and we were watching it. You know, we were having a, a good time watching the film, and it was like a a family drama. Yeah. And then, and then you're like, 
what's this guy gonna do? Because in that whole tense situation, you're like, what's he gonna do? And then he just goes into the corner. We were both like, holy shit. <laughs> Dude's a psycho. Man. Well, and I'm. I thought, you know, when they when they come up to the place where in the last ten minutes and they come up and the girls are gone and then Bobby goes to the door and then Bobby's gone. Mm-hmm. I thought, are they gonna? Because we've been exposed to enough films mm-hmm. from, from India to know you cannot predict what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You could get an hour forty five of one thing and then get another thirty minutes of something completely different. And I, I really thought, is this going to go really bonkers and this guy just, like, mass murders everyone? It was a really good fight scene. Which yes, it what was. What they did, it was so, so, like, uh, well done. And that actor, man, I want to see more of his work because he is really, really good. Yeah. Because that character could have easily been a uh, cartoon. Could have been done so wrong. Like somebody just like, ooh, look at me. Like, like yeah, just, absolutely. just doing a, a weird smile just to be creepy. It was so natural. His was the hardest role in the film to do and be believable. 100%. 100%. Because everyone out, and we'll talk about them. Yeah, we're talking about the whole cast. Ridiculously natural. Come on. Uh, but like his was the most character, character-like. And you were wondering what's his deal what's his throughout deal? the entire thing. And right. Like, when is in the right <laughs> I thought of, you remember the office part when um, Michael is out to lunch with, um, um, babe, what's her name? Gina. No. Polly. Polly. No. The secretary. Oh, Pam. No. No, 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 no. It's talking about um, Ellie Kimber. What's her name? Aaron. Aaron, thank you. Oh, uh. Yes, uh, when he's out to lunch with Aaron, and then he he drops that uh, Andy, who she's dating, right. was engaged to Angela, right, and she didn't know that, right, and so then she started going crazy, and then she put her hair over her face uh-huh. like this, and she said, "When I was in, when I was in, uh, when I was in the, uh, when I was, what was it called? Foster when care. I was in foster care, my hair was my room." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking the whole time. Oh, he's he's just standing in the corner. Standing there. <laughs> yeah. And, I was and like, then then they call, you know, she gets on the phone and calls his brother. He's like, okay, I'll be there in the morning. And then they, they then they hear him and he just pokes us, he like puts his head around the corner with a smile. He's like, let's go to bed. <laughs> oh, like, what? It the was com- freak. completely incredible, completely difficult to pull that off yeah. naturally. Yes. Because it could have easily been a Borat. Okay, so now let's also talk about he was your favorite, my favorite. Please. Well, I loved everyone in the cast. Okay. I'll, I'll mispronounce this man's name. I'm going to pronounce it Sabin Shahir. Who played uh, Sanji? Who played Saji. Oh, Saji, yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah, he did, he did ridiculously good. He was so, so... I love what they did in the beginning of the film with the, the brothers. Just yes. Like, hey, I, I come <laughs> The from, brother fight and yeah. they're grabbing each other's nuts? One, <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> Unless it does in India, I'm not sure. I have a family of four brothers, so I could really easily relate. Ray Oldhofer would unquestionably do that yeah. to his brother. So <laughs> no. it can happen with brothers in no, America. But you do fight often, and you do wrestle. Um, and so you, I, 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 I related to a lot of the, even though my family is much more functional than <laughs> what they are. But I thought it was what the way, one, his arc as a character yeah. was ridiculously... Like amazing, this. and a really, and they all had really good art. They really did. The, the all writing of them did. this are brilliant, but yeah, the, I really he was his also work one of my was. Uh, I kept I was messaging Indrani while I'm watching it, and I'm saying, "Has she seen?" Uh, no, mm. and I said like 15, 20 minutes. This I said, "This is really good, like really good." We're about half hour in. I said, "I am one hundred percent emotionally invested in these people. I care about everybody, and there isn't a weak actor in the bunch." Nobody, the kids, the supporting people, everybody in this. The weakest was probably the American girl. She's not. Yeah, active. but she wasn't even. She wasn't very much in no, it. The, weak, the weakest was the random white guy yeah. taking a picture. He was awful. As they <laughs> Can you take are. a picture again? Yeah. <laughs> He's fishing. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> wow. I mean, everywhere in India, you have the random white dudes, and it's like there's this whole, like, Factory, it's like central casting for India. Bad white actors, gotta have and they you gotta have one. It's like a standard in the industry. But luckily, they didn't let him talk much. So that's true. <sighs> anyway, um, there's we won't be able to talk about everybody. No, the 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 um, um, Bobby and Baby, 
The girl who played Baby. Ugh. You don't put Baby under the bed in a corner, that's for sure. And there's just so much to talk about. There's just this, this, the score uh -huh. was absolutely yeah. gorgeous. I, I, I loved uh, Saji. S S yeah, Saji. Saji's arc. And I loved how the, the Bobby's arc as well. Yes. Who had a ridiculous like, one. You were like, oh, he's so sweet when, you know, he was like, uh, he actually remembered her giving the note and she that, ran away. But that then, was so great. then he was a dick and he was like, I'm a man. Yeah, I was like, bro, you yeah. just lost all, yeah, dude, all respect, come on, bro. And then they kind of brought him back, and but you know he's he, he's still a dick sometimes. Yeah, but, not as bad as Shami. No, no. But uh, and then also I loved Bonnie. Yeah, what they did with that one. He's a mute. Beautiful. Uh, I thought he spoke a lot with not speaking at all. One hundred percent. I thought he conveyed a lot, and I thought mm -hmm. he did really well. Everybody in this cast was so, so natural. Some of the most natural acting I've seen in, in, in Indian cinema. cinema. One hundred percent. It was like they were all a bunch of little Nawazid and Siddiqui's. Right? This, <laughs> to show you, show you how good this is, and it, t tell me if you agree. Mm. If, if I was pitting, and it's very, very different films, but as far as the believability and likability and my desire to watch these films, mm -hmm. if I had to put Parasite up against this, every day of the week I am choosing this. Not that I dislike Parasite. I think Parasite is a great movie, yeah. believable and fun and quirky with a cool message, yeah. but the accessibility, the believability, the wanting, I wanna go spend they're, time with these people in this village. Yeah, they're both, both those films are both really good. Um, I think this one's definitely more unique. Uh, I agree because uh, I've seen the story of Parasite done before, where somebody different pretends ways. to be something. And yeah, blah, 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 blah. and I also think that this has a, a so many places of subtlety in it. I don't want to compare it to this because they're very different. But in the same way that the there was a uniqueness in one of my favorite films of all time, which is The Florida Project, mm. um, where you feel like you're seeing a slice of life and you're just being allowed. To, even even something as simple as watching when he said the water's great. Mm -hmm. Bonnie, take her out. And they go out into the water, and the algae is lighting yeah, up the water. Yeah, that's something else we could talk about. The other character in the film, which is Kerala. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Holy cow, man. Wow. That, I, I know we've reacted to the place, and I know I've heard that it's ridiculously beautiful. Gorgeous. But holy cow, this definitely showcased it. It did. How beautiful that God's own country is, basically. Remember what it and then in the tourism video. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, just the, all the backwaters, and all the plants just growing everywhere, and... It's it's ridiculously beautiful. I'm hoping we get to go there one time when we oh, come yeah. to India. Oh yeah, and and the, the in addition to all of that, so you've got magnificent direction, beautiful score, great story, just fantastic script, uh, a 100 percent believable, natural, grounded cast, every single one of them, mm -hmm. and then you also have some really important and powerful social messages. It's mm -hmm. just about as good as a movie can get for me. And I, I genuinely, I have a list of my favorite movies of all time that I would recommend people watch. And, and I would say, this would also be a, I would, this would I don't think, this, this needs, this could be an early watch for anybody, like an American who doesn't know Indian cinema. I think this is a really good film yeah. to be put into, a, a, what the particular beauty about this is that it will put you into a region of India that is never represented yeah. in Hindi film. Yeah. So at least we haven't seen it yet. Yeah. So to 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 I, you know we've talked about in English, of English, Lunchbox, and those kinds of films. I would say as well, you should watch this film to get an idea of the larger, broader picture of what India has in common and also what is different. Yeah, this would India. definitely go in in towards the top of stuff you could introduce to Americans. The the issue. Uh, the only issues I would see with it are that in, in introducing it to an American is there are some cultural things that they there might are. not understand. That's there true. are some that I don't understand. That's true. Um, the way, I mean, that we, I understand because we've heard about it a lot, but I just still don't understand it. Right. Um, but then also, they speak much faster than Hindi people. Yeah, they do. And so the, it might be difficult for somebody who's not, even... Stupid Babies have told us that they, like people that are only watch Bollywood films, they try to watch some South Indian films or stuff like that, and they say, I can't, it goes I, can't so fast. I can't watch it, and I can't read the subtitles at the same time. Yeah, and that's so okay it's, with it's me. definitely a thing that you need to get used to. Um, <laughs> I, I'm so used to subtitles mm. that last night with Ashley and Harrell, we were watching an episode of, of Grey's Anatomy, and when it started, 
I, I almost turned to them and I was like, where the sub? And I stopped and went, oh, yeah, I don't need subtitles for this Yeah, one. so those are the only two issues, but this would definitely be one I would recommend highly because one, it's so believable. The acting is so natural. Yes. And also, the end, because oh, what is 85% of this film is a family drama. Yeah, it's incredible. They take just a 10 minute ending part, make it warped and weird, and they actually are then able, this is crazy mm -hmm. good. They're able to then bring it back and end it the way it started. Mm -hmm. That's, it's like all of a sudden it goes Tarantino on you and then goes back to being this really beautiful, romantic, family drama yeah. I, I thought all the genius I thought all the brothers with their love interest did really really well I believed all the love Everybody. interest and I I, I like I appreciated um, um, Saji Saji's one where he after, after he was basically trying to kill himself which was an intense scene and then he then his friend his died buddy. right because he was trying to save him from killing himself yes. and then he went to therapy and he because he Felt like he couldn't cry. Which was, I thought that was a brilliant, natural moment when he calls his little brother over and he says, I need help, I need a doctor, I, I can't cry. Mm -hmm. uh, and I lo also loved the juxtaposition the director gave us where Bobby was telling Baby about their family history and Saji was telling the doctor about their family history. And then when we go back, when he's finally the breakthrough, the, the doctor's shirt is just freaking soaked. Soaked. Yeah. And also the, the young kid I thought did really, really he well. Did, they I thought, all did great. I thought a lot, I saw a lot of my little brother in that kid. Uh, just, he, he acted like, because like I said, I come from a family, I'm the second oldest of four boys. Um, and so I saw a lot of, not, I mean, very different than my family, but so I saw some of my brothers in each of the different characters and the young, the youngest fit the characteristics of the youngest child of, mm. of, of a big family mm -hmm. and I thought he did really well so the writing and his acting mm -hmm. were really good and, and you're right there there are things I'm thinking about that as well we have an appreciation I would still recommend it early but we have an appreciation for the cultural understanding for example of um, why if there's no father in the house the big brother would be considered the person that you talk to and why the two brothers are talking to each other yeah. and, and why that's important. But it um, might be good for Americans to be introduced exposed. to that. That's what I mean. Uh, so, exactly. Yeah, that's that's another. But there's one thing I didn't understand. I didn't understand why the mom wasn't there. They said she took the gospel route, so I assume it was like a monk slash. Yeah, it was a weird thing. I didn't um, know what she was, though. Like, right. I didn't know she was like a nun or a mom. I, I don't know. I didn't. Right. I didn't fully understand. I just assumed it was something like that. Right. Did you, did you? I didn't get it because, okay. because just because you know the majority of Christians, whether they're Protestant or Catholic, live n normal lives where they would be able to spend time with their family. Yeah. The, the only reason you would do something like that is if you've gone down a track where you're going to become a priest or a nun or a monk. Yeah. They didn't tell us, but that would be my supposition that she was in some some practicing form that disallowed her the normalcy of social yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and I again. I was thinking about this even just right now. If, if, during the SAG Awards, they don't do Best Picture, they do Best Ensemble. Oh, this would win. Uh, would you have, unquestioned, with what we had this year, if this was in the groupings we had for the SAG Awards this year. It was in the groupings? We had Bombshell. Uh, yeah, we had Parasite. We had uh, JoJo. Was JoJo part of that? Yeah, JoJo was part of that. And then mm. also was... Uh, JoJo was really good. Oh, crap. Um, it was probably Irishman. Irishman was in there. and I would put it over I Irishman for sure. I, for me, this would have been the best ensemble work I've seen this year and that I've seen in a really long time. I could see a debate why uh, how it could be for sure. Um, I don't know, I but it would I, be I in love, the conversation. Yeah, 100%. It, definitely, it should definitely be nominated, 100%. And... Uh, I don't know. Uh, this also should have been in conversation for foreign to films. send to the Oscars. Yep. Uh, maybe it was. I don't know. It may have been. Um, uh, maybe because I'm. What we thought, and I still probably think that they were trying to go for star power, right? In, in Gully Boy. Oh yeah, Come on, guys. As much as we love Gully Boy, and we saw the political connectivity to get that done, mm -hmm. this is. Yeah, head and shoulders above Gully Boy as which, far as which a, is as why far as a film is concerned. Yeah. And we love Gully Boy. Yeah, we love Gully Boy. Don't, so don't, don't, don't get us wrong. Yeah, but as far as a film is concerned, yeah, um, this is this is 
I'm very excited. And, and, and the fact that it was his first film. That is ridiculous. insane. <laughs> Seriously? To be that, uh, you know. Had to have worked as a DP or something prior. He was a assistant director on a film in uh, 2016. That's nuts. <laughs> Sincerely. Also, why did why doesn't he have any projects in development? I, I can't I can't remember a director I've ever seen that came out and did something first that was this good. Yeah, I'd have to. Think and that. yeah, why why do you not have more things? Maybe they do. They in don't update production. Any, they don't update in the IMDb very often. And yeah, either. okay. What about the score? Yeah, I thought it was really unique because they actually had some American. <sighs> I mean, some. Uh, uh, English, -speaking English speaking songs stuff. in there as well, which fit really, really well. The score was gorgeous. I, I thought it fit really well and it was really, really pretty. And I thought the cinematography, it wasn't hard because you're in that country. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's it was hard to make it look beautiful. It's true. But it was. It was ridiculously beautiful the way they shot set up. The last shot where they had the, the title oh, in the water. Yeah, in the water with and, the, and it with comes the lights. up. I thought it was really, really pretty. Come on. So yeah, we, we love this film. And right. I, I can't think of, honestly, any flaws outside of the couple, the, the white guy, but you know, that kind of comes no. with the territory, I guess, with Indian cinema now. Yeah, I would, it is without question, one of the few films that I could say is almost flawless in terms of every single aspect. Mm. Um, every single aspect, there really wasn't anything glaring. And I, I mean, like, <laughs> Like Schindler's List is a virtually flawless film, um, where and we're talking like nitpicky continuity errors, his historicity, anything like that. The only thing that I would find problematic was that one moment that took up three seconds with the white dude not being believable. Although it did make me cringe when all the tourists were coming by and they were taking pictures of the. It just, it makes me cringe like I that. I don't like that. Like in Gully Boy, yeah. when they come into the house, it's like, really? But I did But I love that he moonwalked. Yeah. That was great. Uh, which, I, yeah, I loved that character, but I also really enjoyed the, um, the I think it was almost the opening where uh, Bobby came in and mm -hmm. he just started eating. Mm -hmm. no, no words were spoken. Exactly. And then, and then the brother came in and he was like, why don't you drink yeah. some? Yeah. And he started eating, and then the young boy came in. But, and they didn't talk for a good couple a of good, minutes. A good while. And they it, did a lot of that. But again, the moonwalk thing. That's really, a, in a nutshell, kind of what this film is like, and how I even feel about our connection to India and what I think this film could do with a lot of other Indian films is that that boat being representative of Americans seeing this culture, right? And for them, going to a place like this would seem so foreign, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. And there's the guy on the side of the thing. He's the fisherman in this foreign atmosphere, but he moonwalks for you. And that what that conveyed is we're more the same than we are different if you stop and take a look. Mm -hmm. And and this is one of those films I think is most wonderful about it for me is that I think that any American audience who's never been exposed to Indian film would watch this and probably ha have that start to register of, wow, this is a place I've never seen, a culture and a people I've never seen, a language I've never heard. They're dealing with the same kinds of things I deal with and they're actually, wow, they have, they know what Bluetooth is. Seriously, they'll think that. They'll think, oh, you have Bluetooth there, you have Wi-Fi there, you can listen to music that is the kind of music we listen to and uh, you guys fight over true love versus not true love. And mm -hmm. I, so, massive thumbs up. Brilliant film. Let us know what uh, mm, Malayam, Malal I hope that's right. Malayalam. 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 <laughs> Malayalam. Malayalam. <laughs> Let us know what one of those films <laughs> we should watch next because I know you've been screaming at us to bring them on. Gone. But if this, and I, that's what they say, is they say it's, it's very natural cinema. Well, I'll tell you what, every other Malayalam film that comes our way is got a lot to live up to because this was about as good as it gets right here. Let us know down in the comment section below.